Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to Daily News, breaking news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook, or Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook group, or Prince Mila Entertainment TV. We're also on Twitter, it's a P Mila ENT. Follow us on Twitter and we follow back. Welcome to another edition of a Daily News on Breaking News. And again, so highly influential leader of one of the country's largest indigenous church denominations, Paul Maja, has given his followers an ultimatum to either vote and PF risk being excommunicated. In an dated video being shared on social media, as an PF member donning President Emerson Nangagwa's trademark Zimbabwe scarf tells hundreds of church members that their leader, Maja, had instructed them to get rid of any member of the church who does not support the ruling party the african apostolic church is one that prays for the nation for this country to know peace you are the ones who pray you are the ones who pray for president emerson Mnangagwa. your poor maja said to all african apostolics anyone who votes against the npf will be chased out of the church the unidentified men said no one of you will be harassed as long as we are there as long as the president is there, I will go and tell him if there is anything that is troubling you. Mwaja, African Apostolic Church has maintained relations with Sanupiev because of the large numbers under his control. His services and annual festivals have in the past been used for Sanupiev campaigns while late President Robert Mugabe, Nangagwa and other members of the ruling party frequently his gatherings and again, that's a video which is circulating on social media i know most of you have seen that video of a man who is wearing a zimbabwean scarf the same scarf in fact one edim nangagwa here i just is only when we're saying how for teresa no pf and how for teresa edim nangagwa kune waya was in gade wai wano fatongo buddha muchich and that is what the men was saying with the iowa sanu pf do musha mukuru I mean, uh, I'm not surprised about, about this because uh, ZANU-PF and the apostolic sect, uh, they have a strong relationship uh, since way back. And uh, that's the why they always get uh, special treatment. Even Pangwe COVID-19, gatherings. thousands of them. And any disturbances from the police. So they do get some kickbacks. And when they support the NPF. But again, what will happen if the NPF loses my elections? Are 2023. Are you telling me that they're gonna switch from the NPF to MDC Alliance or to MDCT? Or to Zanundonga or to any other political party in Inga with my elections at 2023. I don't think that the churches uh, must be uh, doing politics or campaigning for a political party. I also think that one of the Matira, Runyara Rochet, and the Wasne Nishukita in the politics. In a window morning, and the church in the world, no party that shock around what it is in Bati Chase, and the Kotekuti, Mumun Oya, Otamata, Zanu PF, MDC Alliance, MDC T. Iowa. But for this to happen, you already know that uh, the Maja sect they do benefit uh, from the current government. That's why they always tolerate this kind of uh, gatherings and also this kind of campaigns during a church service. So, guys, this is our daily news breaking news on Prince Benedict Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, and comment, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here on this channel each and every day, each and every hour. And thank you very much for listening and watching daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. More on this, guys. Bless up.